Hi, this is Igor from hdhead.com. You may remember from some of my older videos how excited I was about Fusion Clips in uh, Resolve 15. In version 16, we have something called Adjustment Clips, but before we get into that, I just want to refresh your memory what Fusion Clips are and are not. Let's take a Fusion composition, drop it over several clips here, and step into Fusion. I'm going to add a background and a paint node and link it to the output. On the background, we'll pull alpha all the way down to zero to make the background transparent. And we'll just circle that and get back out to the edit page. So the paint effect has carried across. So what Fusion Compositions do, they allow you to key whatever it is that you have created in the Fusion Composition over the background image. But there's a fundamental problem with the Fusion Composition. It cannot process the background image. It can only composite on top of it. So now in version 16, we have adjustment clips that are actually quite interesting. And if you come from Premiere or Media Composer, this concept is probably very familiar to you. So let's type in adjustment and drag an adjustment clip, drop it over several clips here. Nothing's changed. The adjustment clip is empty. We have to put something in it. So one of the things you can put in is a fusion composition. So whatever we do in the fusion comp will have an effect on that bottom video track on the edit page. I'm going to do something that you can't really do otherwise on the edit page. Uh, let's create a shape 3D. Instead of a plane, let's do a cube. And we'll attach one light to it. Add a render node. Enable the lighting. I'm going to move that light a little bit. Just something quick and rough. Control space, let's bring another ambient light. So now we'll get out to the edit page. Everything underneath is passed into this cube. Even if I extend it, you can go into the next shot. And the best thing is you can drag and drop this into a bin and that will become an adjustment clip you can use elsewhere. So let's call this cube. Well, if I delete this, I can just drag it back down like a regular clip. Let's see what else we can put in an adjustment clip. Let's bring in an empty adjustment clip. Go to open effects. We can use any of the open effects. And as we saw with the fusion example, we can also drag and drop this adjustment clip and call it some descriptive names so we can use it later on in this or other projects. Moving on. Next thing you can use in the adjustment clip is the simple inspector controls, like zoom, position, rotation, etc. And the same as with the other ones, you can of course drag, drop, and save this. And the final thing you can put in the adjustment clip is the color corrector. So if I place an empty adjustment clip, go to the color page, whatever I do in the color page will affect all the clips underneath the adjustment clip. So this is a quick way to save uh, some kind of a look that you need to apply over a range of clips. Let's call this my black and white. If I drag it over this, everything becomes black and white. There's a very clever use of adjustment clips in our visuals transitions. It's a transition pack that's built using adjustment clips. And I really like not only how the transitions look like, but just how cleverly they're built. Let me show you how that works. Let's drag and drop one of these transitions here. What you may want to do before you do this, actually, is turn on Decompose Compound Clips on Edit, because these transitions are actually compound clips, and you'll see very quickly why that is. So let's drag this one. Now, see, the clip is decomposing itself. So the idea is to line up the edit between the clips. The preview is still on top, but we can simply delete that, and then we'll see our own footage underneath. The transitions come with these sound effects, which probably for professional use is not something you would want. So the first thing I do is, is delete these. And uh, there is the tr transition. Of course, some of these can be very render intensive. I think this is one of the faster ones, but you can turn the caching on. I believe there's some problem with caching of the adjustment clips in version 16 because it's all brand new. But uh, somehow with these two clips up on top, that solves the problem. The blue clip down here is the actual fusion comp, and if you step into it, there will be a couple of controls, depending on the transition itself. If you select that, 
Let's see what this one has. There might be a motion blur. No, this one you can't. Some of them you can turn motion blur on and off. That will uh, speed it up. This one has the invert of the spin, so it's clockwise, counterclockwise. There are quite a few different transitions. They all come with these uh, very cool previews where you can see what's going on. Let's try dropping another one on. Um, I want to show you how you can turn off the motion blur if need be. This one has motion blur on off. Of course, motion blur is half of the effect, but uh, it does slow down the processing. My system is struggling a little bit to, to play this back, but it's a quick render. These are really cool. There's uh, quite a range of different effects. And our visual was very kind to give my subscribers 15% off if you use this promo code at their webpage. Thank you for watching.